What is going on everyone? Leon checking in. And today I just wanted to put out a quick video. Basically, I went ahead and connected my Nexus 6P to my PC with the USB cable, but I didn't get any of the options that you would normally get. Basically, it went into charging mode and when you would pull down the notification panel and you would click on the charging notification, you couldn't get any of the options that you normally would get when you did click on that notification. So basically that's what this video is all about. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I fixed it. Now, if you have a different way to fix it, make sure you leave it in the comments below so that other people can see that if they are having a similar issue and they can fix it as well. So let's go ahead, let's jump into it. Now again, there may be different ways to fix this issue, but the way I fixed it was going into developer options. Now if you don't know how to enable developer options, I did make a short video of that and I will post a link in this video so you can click that, check that video out and come back to this one. So we are going to go ahead and click on our apps tray icon and then click on settings. This will take us into this next menu where we're going to scroll down to the bottom here and click system and then we're going to go ahead and click on developer options and scroll all the way down until we get to USB debugging and we're going to turn that on. Now this is what fixed my issue. Now like I said, turning USB debugging on did fix the issue, but the funny part was that once I turned it off, or basically turned off developer options as a whole, the phone was still working like it should once you connect it to a PC. So it's almost like turning on USB debugging and turning it back off just triggered some kind of event to make the phone work as it should once it's connected to a PC. Now I am running Android O beta and just like with any other beta it can be unstable so I was kind of wondering if maybe that was causing the issue as well. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it or found it useful, make sure you like it. Also, like I said, if you have any tips on fixing this issue yourself or you found a different way to fix the issue, leave that in the comments below to help others out. Or if you have any questions, leave those in the comments below as well. And if you can, make sure you hit the subscribe button to support me so I can go ahead and put out more videos. And as always, I'm going to try to post some more videos here and down here that I have made in the past. So check those out. And until next time, Leon checking out.